There's a great website called Sticker Mule, and this company offers stickers and also t-shirts as well. In fact, they offer a number of different products up here, magnets, labels, t-shirts, and even more things. Now, when you go over to Deals, which is on the top menu, you're gonna see this deal fluctuates from time to time. So depending on when you're looking at this video, you could see a completely separate deal. Sometimes they have magnets and stickers. Well, in this case, it's a custom black t-shirt, $14 for one shirt. I'm gonna order one. It's really easy. I'm gonna get it shipped to my house and I'm gonna show you the quality of the shirt. And at the end of this video, I've actually got a link and if you click on the link, you can get $10 towards an order. And so you can even save some more money on top of the deal. So I'm gonna click order now. And then from here, I can just choose a file that I can upload. So you can make a design in advance, like a Merch by Amazon or a Redbubble t-shirt, and then simply click your file and upload it to the site. Okay, I'm in Photoshop here. I've got a Merch by Amazon template I've got set up, 4,500 pixels by 5,400 pixels, resolution 300 pixels per inch. I'm gonna click okay. That gives me a nice big template. Now remember, I'm gonna be designing on a black t-shirt. Okay, so here's my cat design that I'm gonna have. It's kind of psychedelic. And because it's a black t-shirt, what I will typically do if I'm using Photoshop or Affinity Photo, I'll make sure that there's a black background just to double check. Am I missing anything here in the design? Are there any little white specks? Is there anything from a graphics design standpoint that stands out? And the answer here is no. So that's wonderful. I will simply remove the black background. Remember, that's gonna be the t-shirt is gonna be the black. And now I will simply save this as a PNG file and it's the size of a Merch by Amazon template. And now I'm uploading my file. It's a relatively large file, so it is gonna take a couple seconds to upload. And then I've got a decision to make here. I can place it in the front large, place it in the front center chest small, or on the left chest size. And so I'm gonna pick full front, and then you've got an instructions piece here. You can leave an instruction for the staff if you have anything specific for your proof. I'm gonna click continue. So from here, we're gonna get the image populate and it's got the original price less the adjustment. Remember, I went up to deals, so I selected it off of that. And we can see here the price now is $14. Okay, and now the image populates. I can just hover over it, it'll load in. And that looks pretty good. I'm just double checking it's got a transparent background. It definitely looks like it does. And this is great. So now I'm gonna to go to the checkout and I'll have an option here to pay uh, either through PayPal or through a credit card. All right, now my order is confirmed. And this is an important part here. Expect your proof within the next four hours. I'll get an email and I'll have the option then to click the approve button or the reject button and then my payment is processed all i need to do is click approve and then it gets shipped right to your house so don't forget that make sure to check your email when you place the order and then you're going to pay and then they're going to pr print and ship the shirt all right i've got my email here from sticker mule it says my proof is ready i simply click the review my proof button and that takes me right to the sticker mule website i give this one last look looks really good there's a couple different mock-ups here very happy with the way that looks, and I'll click the Approve button. I'm just gonna double check here. Color black, position full, quantity 1XL, and I am gonna click the Approve button. Gives you one last chance. I'm gonna click Start Production. And there we go. It's all ordered, and now I'm gonna wait for the T-shirt to arrive. All right, the shirts come in. Let's check it out here in some detail. First and foremost, I really love how there's no actual tag on the shirt. It says XL, sticker mule, and it's just printed right into the shirt. I just love that. Secondly, I'm really happy with the way the colors look on this shirt. It's actually quite bright. I've got some neon colors. I'm not expecting it to glow in the dark or anything, but overall, I'm pretty happy with the way it looks. There's good separation, and there's really good screen printing on here where it doesn't look like it's going to peel or peel anytime soon. The actual shirt itself is pretty good quality. I'd say it's medium. It's not a super lightweight shirt, and it's also not a super heavy shirt. It's probably good if you're going to wear it perhaps in the summer or indoors. Uh, I live in Canada where it's cold. So typically, I would wear a heavy-duty shirt if I was to wear one outside. But this would work good if you had a sweater or something in the winter. And then it looks great in the summer as well. Uh, the one thing that I will say about the shirt that's just a concern, but it's more from a design perspective, is the top of the shirt when you're designing stops about here. So you're not really going to have a design that goes right off into the 
neck area. But from a t-shirt perspective, though, I think this looks fine. It's not an all over print. It never claims to be an all over print. So you just have to be aware of that when you're making a design. But overall, I'm very, very happy with the way this looks. Now, if you're interested in ordering something from Sticker Mule, you can try it out for yourself. And I've got a link in the video description below and it's good for $10 off an order. So feel free to use your imagination, create a cool product and give it a try. Thanks a lot for watching.